Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another private tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a bit of a step back and programming something a lot more basic than we have been programming in the recent tutorials. So this tutorial is sort of going to be like a chill out tutorial where we program a password generator. So it's a pretty good project for beginners. And if you're a beginner, this is the perfect project for you because you'll be learning about arrays and how to nest different loops inside each other. So while it may seem simple to actually create a random password generator, it can be a bit challenging to create. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and create Visual Studio. I mean, go ahead and open Visual Studio, not create Visual Studio. That will take me another age. Cool. So I'm going to get rid of this text right here. And then in here, I'm going to type in control S to save this file and then save this as password generator.py cool so once i've got that all saved up i can actually start coding now as i said before this um, password generator is going to create passwords randomly which is why we're going to need the random module more about that in a moment so import random which is going to help us later now we need to specify the characters that we're going to be using to actually create this random password now i'm going to go from a to z so a b c d e f g J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I'm also going to do the capitalization of these. So A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And I'm going to do the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want to, you can increase this range by however much you want. You can add special characters or as many numbers as you like. I'm going to go ahead and add a few special characters in here. Uh, let's see what else I need. Um, and that should be enough in my opinion. Let's do one of this and let's do this. Cool. So these characters can depend on... This pretty much depends on your preference. The more you add in here, the more secure or hard to guess the password's going to be. Cool. So when our password generator runs, it's going to pick random characters, which means uh, one character. It's going to pick random ones of these and then combine them together to be a single password. So first off, we're going to need a main loop. So wow, true. So this loop will keep running no matter what. Now we need to gather what the password length is going to be. We need to ask the user what length they want their password to be. So let's do an input and then we'll assign that input to a variable called password length. Now, since it's an integer, we're going to do int inputs because we're taking an integer um, input. What length? would you like your password to be and then we ask the user the question once that's done we also need to know um, how many passwords the user would like to generate in one shot because that's a nice feature to have instead of having to run the program all over again to generate another password so let's ask how many passwords would you like so based on this, the password will be different each time the loop runs. So we are gathering what length the password um, needs to be. We're also gathering how many passwords we're generating for the user. Cool. Now let's actually get into the complicated bit of this loop. So now we're going to need a 4x in range loop, which means um, we give the loop a range of how many times it's going to run. So we want this loop to run as many times as there is um, as many times as the user wants to generate a password. So for x in range, I'm going to start on zero and then I'm going to end at password count. So I want to run this loop as many times as the user wants a new password. So if the user typed in um, two new passwords, we're going to run this loop two times. So I'm going to print x in here and show you what that does. It's pretty much going to print just the counter of this function. Let's run this. Uh, now it's going to escape. Um, what path, what lint do I need my password? Probably 12 characters. And how many would I like? I would like three. So as you see right here, when I type in, I want to run it three times. It runs, the loop actually goes ahead and runs three times. And each time it increments the number by one when it starts at zero. So it's actually run three times. Now to show that's actually working, I'm going to run it 10 times. And if I show you now, let's just do that it actually run 10 times. It's obviously starting at zero, which is why the last number is nine, which means it ran 10 times. Cool, so that bit's working. Now let's go ahead and program the actual bit that's gonna create the password for us. So we need another for loop. Um, so in this for loop, we're going to give it a range 
or how many um, characters the user wants in their password. So we're going to start from zero and we're going to run until the password length has been met. So we're going to run this loop um, the number of times that the user wants their password length to be. Because um, for each iteration of this loop or each time this loop runs, we're going to add one character to their password. So as soon as we reach the password length, the password will be built up to as many characters as the user wanted it to be. Cool. So now let's go ahead and get rid of this print x variable right here. And instead of that, I'm going to create a new variable called password and then I'm going to assign it to black. It's just a blank string. Now that password is going to be um, populated with information in a second. So now we need to go ahead and actually make a uh, grab the password character. So password character, so this is each character that's going to be selected for our password, equals random dot choice. Now dot choice, what it does is it goes ahead and selects a single character from one of, um, so basically what we need to do is that it's going to pretty much grab a random character from this uh, string right here so it's going to go ahead and give me a random character each time this loop runs so if i print that i can prove that to you print password character each time the loop runs let's run it and it should give me a different character from the character's string each time it runs uh let's see Okay, so I probably typed in something. So I'm going to type in tall and I would like two passwords. And as I said before, guys, so here is the list of our strings. So it pretty much selects a random character from our character's string and then just prints it out each time the loop runs. Cool, so since that's working all fine, let's get rid of this print statement. And now we're actually going to add the character that's being selected randomly each iteration of the loop to our password variable which is going to slowly actually form our password so our password variable is going to be the previous password variable so anything that was already there plus the new password character that just got produced on the next iteration of the loop and then once we're done we're going to go back one and print here is your password and then i'm going to do colon comma password and if everything went well it should just run perfectly so cool i'm gonna clear that up and run it again now it's asking what length would you like your password let's go with four how many passwords would you like i'll go with i don't know five. and as you see right here guys we have five different passwords which are looking pretty secure to me because they're literally a combination of random letters from that uh, cares or characters string that we had so the reason this um when we use random dot choice on the string it treats it like an array so the zeroth position would be a and so on so it pretty much knows that it needs to select a random character from this character's string right here we don't actually need to convert it into an array or anything like that and then just like that quite simply we have created a um, little program that allows us to print as many random passwords as we want which is obviously a password generator anyway guys that was it for today's tutorial hope you have actually enjoyed the content i wanted to create sort of like a laid back tutorial because the last few tutorials have been a bit intense i'm um, going from beginner to intermediate stuff so just to jump back into the loop of um, beginner stuff and just to show you guys how actually nested loops and for loops can be used if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, like always guys, leave them in the community tab um, under my post that says ideas for new videos. Also guys, do consider joining the Discord um, channel that's going to be stated in the description. You can also follow up my socials if you like. On the Discord channel, we are it's pretty much just a chill channel. We just um, chill on there, we discuss um, ideas for next videos, troubleshoot any issues with previous code that you have. Um, I don't know, show off your projects and a lot more. You just can meet a lot of cool stuff that can have similar interest to you. I mean, cool people, cool stuff. 
Um, also guys, if you'd like to donate to the channel directly, you can do so by purchasing a super chat emoji or a super chat custom message. I'm not forcing anyone to do so, but if you'd like to do that out of gratitude, that really helps grow the channel. And I will see your beautiful faces in the next tutorial. Peace.